What's up everyone? It's Merrimack Hot Takes with Dello and Ollie. Ready to roll today with a little bit of Merrimack hockey. Uh, they just won their first playoff game. A home game, a win, an OT winner over Boston College. They are going to the Garden, TD Garden that is, for the semifinals, taking on the one the only UMass Lowell River Hawks. It's a rivalry game, it's a big one. The semifinals, a chance to go to the Hockey East Finals. First time since 2011, they're in the Garden. Huge game. Huge game that they played, huge game coming up. I just want to start with a couple of stats on that game. Hugo Olas, 36 save, fifth shutout of the season, and goaltender of the week with that performance. Whoa. Double overtime shutout win. That game never felt like it was going to end. Never. We were both there, and it was insane. It was a three oh. and a half hour long game. It was top to bottom, the best hockey game I've ever been to in my life. And, I mean, it didn't feel like it was going to end. No. BC came out strong, you know, they were going to make Merrimack earn that win. And in the end, Mick Messner, great guy this season. Mick That's our Messner, man. Mick Messner, that is our man. Game winner, double overtime. Thank God it was only about five minutes into the second overtime because I wasn't sure I was going to make it another yeah. 20. It was crazy. But yes, Mick Messner has the overtime winner. Um, it was a little dribble that got past the BC Tendi, and they come up with a one nothing win over the Eagles. Advanced, like we said, into the semifinals against the River Hawks in the Garden 7.30 on Friday night with a chance to play either BU, the number one overall seed in Hockey East, or Providence, good for them, making it. But we'll talk about the Warriors and coming up. They have a massive game. The River Hawks, they swept this season. They had two huge wins, one at uh, Songa Center, one at home. Um, just a little bit ago, a 5-3 win at Lowell, and then a 2-0 win, shutout win for the Warriors uh, just recently uh, before they took on Vermont and BC. And now, a third game. Right. And you know what? I want to kind of highlight some things about the team that's making me feel good about their play that they're about to have. Let's talk about how the team is on a six-game win streak. We had that spell where we were kind of iffy. We were touch and go, win, mm -hmm. lose. But the yep. six-game win streak, I think, is kind of huge. And the fact that they recently just swept Lowell plays into this factor. Mm -hmm. Game's going to be a little chippy. It's always chippy. But also, too, I think Jordan Seifert is pushing this team to the max. The emotion the kid plays with. We always talk about it. This kid is the most emotional guy on the ice, and the fans love emotion. I love Seif. The way he plays betters all of his teammates. He wears that A with passion. He wears the Merrimack logo with passion. He wears the A like it's a C. Yeah, of course he does, and he should. And, and Seif's playing really good hockey right now, and the team's playing good hockey. Like you said, six-game win streak. We've gone through the ups and downs of Merrimack hockey this year, obviously starting off so good, so hot, and then coming out of break and kind of falling off a bit and kind of hitting that little slump that every team hits here and there, but then picked it back up right where we want to be. We're 14th in pairwise, we're 14th in the country, ready to roll with a chance to secure a spot not in the Hockey East Championship, but the NCAA tournament. I know, that's a big th game that might be coming up. But also, too, going back to Jordan real quick, the kid usually doesn't have a lot of stats, but I pulled up some stats that I think are pretty impressive. He's plus four in the last five games. They've scored about eight goals. Not so one, that's not two, not three, but four, yeah, plus four. He's plus four, so that means half the goals that they're scoring in the last five games, he's on the ice for. That mm -hmm. means he's a playmaker. He's chippy enough to keep the puck in the offensive end. He hasn't had any minuses in the last five games. He's also part of assisting most of the goals that we've had in the last five games. Seif, that are assisting. Seif runs this team. Yeah. Seif runs this team. Uh, among many other players, like we said, we mentioned Mick Mesner and, and his heroics. Ben Brar has been Mick ter Mesner, terrific. Mick Mesner, Ben Brar, Ben's been Jordan, Alex Jeffries, Will Calverly, Philip Forsmark, I mean, a lot of these go, older go, guys. Go down the whole list. And then, obviously, the two goaltenders. Obviously, Hugo got the credit for the BC win. But we can't just put aside what Zach Borgiel's done this season. Zach has been great. He has been fantastic. And what a luxury for Scott Bork to have. Not one, but two goalies in that that he can use with Hugo and uh, Zach Borgiel. I mean, it, it's, it's amazing. You know, m most teams don't get one. No. They have two. But, you know, I want to just wrap this up with this quick quote. I talked to Ben Brar earlier this week, and he said, we can't make this into something more than it is, which is simply just another game. And you know what? I think that's a great way for the Warriors to go into this weekend. I think that gives a strong fight and edge to the chip to this team, and I think they're going to be great. But with that, we're going to wrap up the show for this week. We'll catch you next week. I'm Ollie, and this is Dello, and this is Merrimack Hot Takes.